What's up guys? So last week we played a game called Solitaire, also known as Patience. But there are also different types of solitary games with bicycle cards or any type of playing cards. Today we're going to play another solitaire game play, played with cards. What I didn't tell you was last week's game was called Klondike. And you guys can find that actually in the description of that video. But today, we're going to play another solitary game here on Board Games. Welcome to Board Games. I am Alberto and I will be playing with you guys and I will show you guys how to play various games on this show. Today's show, we're going to play another solitary game as you guys heard in the intro with the use of playing cards. So that's all you need and all you need is a flat surface. All you need is to do that. It's going to be a very fun game. You'll love it, especially if you love shapes and geometry, but you don't need to know any geometry. You just need to know simple mathematics. All you need is one bicycle playing card deck, 52 cards, take out the jokers and all that stuff, and let's go to the playing field, shall we? Again, with our strict budget, we're gonna have to use a ironing board. I don't know if you guys can see it, so here's the ironing board. <laughs> we're gonna be playing the game of the four corners. I will teach you how to play the four corners. The four corners is actually a pretty cool game. It's a different setup. It has this great geometric aesthetic to it, and uh, you'll love it. It's four corners, it's very it's shaped nicely. I haven't played this game before. I just learned it, and so I want to teach you guys as I play it for the very first time. I think I know and I got the gist of it, so I'm going to teach you guys how to play it. Uh, it's kind of fresh in my memory, so I should be going very well. So let's go and let me change the camera angle, and I'll show you guys the setup of how to play and play the four corners. So, setting up the game four corners is actually not that hard. So, this is actually the deck that I used last time, so that it's actually in order when I played the game Solitaire. Um, what you wanna do is take out all of the aces. Uh, the ace of spades, the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, and the Ace of Diamonds. Um, you want to do that um, because these are going to represent our four corners. Now you re really want a big space, so you want to kind of spread them out. Alright, spread them out like that. And then what you want to do is shuffle your cards. Last time I failed shuffling the cards, if you guys remember from last week's episode. Uh, wasn't really that good of a shuffle, but this time it was good. Oh my gosh, okay, I spoke too soon and one of the cards just flew out. Um, what card was that? That was the Six of Hearts. Let's just put that in the middle somewhere. And then let's shuffle it one last time. Alright. Now we have the aces in, uh, you know, outlining our square. We will put four cards facing up on the four corners of each ace. That's why I said you want it to be relatively uh, spread apart. We'll do it like this. Okay. And then we'll put this here. Uh, okay, like that. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. And then you have your stockpile. These are the four corners of for the Ace of Diamonds, four corners of the Ace of Hearts, four corners of the Ace of Spades, four corners of the Ace of Clubs. What we're going to do is we have a stockpile, just like what we did in regular Solitaire or Klondike or Patience, whatever you want to call it. And we're also going to have a waste pile, just like what we did in um, for Solitaire Patience. Now, I'm going to tell you guys how to play the game of Four Corners. Alright guys, so this is how you guys will play Four Corners. So now your objective of actually playing Four Corners is to find, is to actually put these cards in order. So if you could find any card, um, we want to do it from descending order. 
I mean, from uh, to ascending order, so from lower to higher, what you want to do, since we have the aces, you want to find any card such as, look, we got the two of diamonds, we'll just place it to the two of diamonds. And then we'll continue to build on these stacks. All right, and that is the deal of the game. If you can't find any more cards to do so, such like what I have now, you will start dealing cards. And that's how you'll be able to get to the four corners. All right, so we're gonna go and start playing the game now. All right, <clears throat> let's play, <laughs> let's play four corners. All right, so, what I'm looking for are some, okay, I got a two of diamonds here, three of diamonds here, four of diamonds here, five of diamonds here. I also got a two of hearts here, three of hearts here, four of hearts here, five of hearts here, six of hearts here, and a seven of hearts. I have a two of spades, three of spades, and wow, I've uh, I'm pretty much eliminated most of the cards in the deck. So now what I have to do is replace the corners of uh, each pile. Let's replace the corners. There we go. And we do the same thing. So we got the four of spades, five of spades, six of spades, um, six of diamonds, seven of diamonds, eight of diamonds. We got eight of hearts, nine of hearts. We still don't have any clubs um, that I can put on there. And now we refill it back. In order to make this game a little bit harder for you, you can deal three cards at a time. Um, for instance, there are no cards here. But even though there are, let's say there aren't, hypothetically speaking, you can deal three cards down to make it a little bit harder for you. To make it a little bit like a normal playing game, two cards. To make it really easy, just play one card. I'll be playing only one card, but as of the moment, I'm doing pretty well, as you guys can see. We have the nine of diamonds, ten of diamonds, jack of diamonds, queen of diamonds. I'm almost done with the diamonds here. Any hearts? We got ten of hearts here. All right, so let's continue to fill up the uh, playing space. Oh, we got two of clubs now. Um, we got the nine of spades, ten of spades. We got a jack of spades. Um, where's the diamonds? King of diamonds. So we're done with the diamonds. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's uh, refill back our playing board. Okay, so I've just finished. Well, that was lucky of me. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of hearts. Uh, queen of hearts. King of hearts. Uh, jack. Queen and king. Queen and king. And this is what you want to have as your end result is the four kings in the four corners. Now what I like to usually do is uh, put the aces in descending order. And I like to put the diamonds or the hearts. Let's put the hearts in descending order as well. And then uh, put these two in front of each other and then we'll put clubs then diamonds and then we'll place them right back in the deck. And that's how you play Four Corners. And that's it! That was so fun! Playing the game of Four Corners. It was, it was great, it was like just playing solitaire. Wait, it is a solitaire game. <laughs> Um, that's not, that wasn't even funny. I don't, I don't know why I laughed. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, actually I did. But anyway, so, um, I mean, tune in next week when we play another fun game. And, uh, it, it's, it's gonna be marvelous. Marvelous. A lot of fun. And I hope you guys had fun 
playing and watching me play the Four Corners and go now and play Four Corners by yourself. All you need to do is buy a pack of cards. cards. Just go to your local dollar store or 99 cent store and buy a pack of cards. It doesn't even have to be strict US, uh, you know, licensed playing cards. You can just make your own playing cards using a uh, piece of paper, ruler, and uh, pencil and just mark in the stuff and you can make your own symbols and stuff. You know, that's cool. Or making using photographs. 5x8 card, like little photograph stock. I don't know. And you can put like numbers on the side. Um, whatever it is, you can always make your own playing cards and have fun with it and uh, have uh, and enjoy. Anyways, I am Alberto and thank you guys for watching this week's episode of Board Games. See you guys next time. On today's episode, we're going to be playing one of my favorite games that includes a lot of strategy. And you know what? It only takes one player to play, which means you can play it by yourself. And all you need is a deck of cards.